Okay, in this video we're going to be showing you how to tie a beadhead black woolly bugger. In the vise I have a size 10 streamer hook with a tungsten 3.3 millimeter black bead. For thread we're going to be using a 6 aught unithread in black. So we're going to start the thread right behind the bead. wrapping to the back of the hook just to where the thread would hang about at the hook barb we'll stop it right about there Leave it hang. For our tail, we're going to be using black marabou feathers. And we're going to take and we're going to strip that stiff fibers from the bottom of the stem. Take and trim some of that stem off. And for this woolly bugger, we're going to want the length of the tail to be approximately as long as the hook shank. So we'll hold the marabou over the shank and secure it to the top. Now we're going to wrap the rest of that feather up towards the bead. We want to make sure the body of this woolly bugger is as even as it can be. So when we wrap the chenille up, it'll be nice and even. So we we'll wrap that up just behind the bead, trim off the excess. Now we'll tidy it up a little bit. We'll wrap it back to the tail now to give this tail a little bit of flash we're going to be adding some crystal flash so we'll take a strand of crystal flash and we'll wrap it around our thread Bring it up to where you want the crystal flash to be on your tail. I'll move it over to the side facing the camera so you can see. Once you're kind of happy with the length, trim it. Now I'm going to grab another piece and I'll get a couple strands on the other side. You can use as much as you want, however much flash you want in the tail. And I'm kind of going to pull it back and wrap back and that will point it towards the rear of the fly. Trim them to length. And that gives you a little bit of flash. Make sure they're secured real good. Now we're going to be tying in a piece of green wire. We're going to tie that along the hook shank. Again, trying to keep the body as even as we can possibly keep it. For the body, we're going to be using a black ultra chenille in medium. Get approximately a six inch length cut from the card. We're 
we're going to take and we're going to align that along the shank of the hook and tie it in the entire length of the body also. Wrap back over it, get it secured down real good. Then you're going to advance your thread and stop it right behind the bead. Take your chenille and start wrapping it and touching turns. Once you get just to about where you're at the bead, tie it off. Secure it down real good and trim your excess. Now we're going to get a piece of black saddle hackle. We're going to strip all that webby stuff off the bottom of the feather. And then we're going to trim the feather at the stem and leaving just a short piece of stem left to tie it in with. Put, put it just behind the bead and tie that stem in. Now we're going to get our hackle pliers. We're going to put one full turn right behind the bead. And then we're going to start to palmer it back through the body. There should be just enough on this feather to get the hackles to go all the way to the back side of the body. Depending on the size of the hook you're using, you want to make sure you have long enough hackles to reach the end of your body. Once you get it to the back, take your wire, wrap it around the hackle end, securing that hackle end in, and then start wrapping the wire around the hackle towards the front. And as you're wrapping, sort of wiggle that wire back and forth so you don't trap any fibers, hackle fibers. Keep wrapping it forward as even as you can. Once you get up to where you're just behind the bead, Secure the wire in. Once you have it secured in, take an old set of scissors and trim that wire out. You never want to use your good scissors. Once you have it trimmed out, then I like to brush the uh, hackle fibers back and put a few turns in front, kind of hold them back. And then we'll grab our whip finisher, put a five, six turn whip finish in it. Trim your thread. And there you have it. You can add either UV clear head cement to help secure the thread in. A black 
Meathead Black Wooly Bugger. I thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.